श्री गुरु श्री युत पद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णवांग श्री रूप साग्र जातम सह गण रघुनाथ नितम तम सजीव सात सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान सह गण ललिता श्री विशाखा नितांच निवासाय निय परमात्म बलभद्र सुभद्राभ्यागन्नाथा नम श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैतगदाधर श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई ऑफर माय रेस्पेक्टफुल ओबेसेंसेस to his divine grace nitya lila pravishtam vishnu pada stotra tasila bhakti bhajo puri goswami maharaj and all our guru vargas all associates with srila prabhupada bhakti siddhant swami thakur guru and all parampara acharyas i beg their causeless mercy we are today very happy i offer my dandavat pranam to the puja pad shna bhakti vidha gopanand banavar sai maharaj and all participated voice numbers uh, happy to be together in our online and the topic today to discuss about the kadashi Ekadasi is a our part of devotion in bhakti. Same like Janmashtami, Ramanabhami, Nursingha Jayanti, Baraha Jayanti, Gauranga Mahaprabhu Jayanti. Like same Ekadasi also the Lord Vishnu, Krishna. He is presiding this day, so we observe fasting. Fasting means actually a kadasi according the scriptures to perform like three days. Tenth day means before one day kadasi. This is the thing. Night time one should not eat. because when ekadashi sthiti the day started that time must be stomach empty then ekadashi day without food without water one should maintain and night time cannot sleep also food and sleep both one should give up this then next day in 12th day one should after were farming his morning duty and uh, uh, his uh, worshiping then parana time one should विष्णु मार्ज योर माइक्रोफोन वेन्ट ऑफ Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Now here. Yes. It okay. was off for a few. It was off until you said we how to do the param. Yes. So in twelfth day, also one should eat one time. 
night time should not eat means that is continuing three days but in kali yuga it is not easy because kali yuga only yuga dharma is hare nama hare nama hare nama eva kevalam kalo naste eva naste eva naste eva gati ranyatha and only by hari nam they can get all perfection without yeah. hari nam no one can get any benefit from other fasting or pilgrimage or charity or taking bath in stirtha or any kind of other pious activities they cannot get perfection so this ekadashi because we are fasting but we always chant hari nam we according in the yuga dharma the time our physical condition body our acharyas they accept anukalpa anukalpa means anu means just little very little means just to maintain stomach gets now it is in kali yuga people if they don't eat many diseases come out gas come out pain is many things happen therefore at least what is necessary to maintaining according to body one can take in anaradya vishnu purana there is written about ekadashi more detailed there there the king rukwanga the raja king he has fast fast he accepted and performed in his, that time in his kingdom this ekadashi vrata ekadashi came fast created in satya yuga a demon named murasura named mura demon he performed austerity and after brahma came to offer his benediction then he asked to brahma please give me i can be immortal then brahma told i cannot give you this i am i have also death then he told okay i will only one a chastity a girl can kill me no one any warrior or any kind of demigods or demons or any kind any, any kind of such char fight cannot kill me so brahma gave him this boon after murasura he started to conquer to heaven the planet he defeated to demigods and everyone they ran away they fear to him then last moment they go to lord narayana they request him they pray to him then lord narayana came and join with them and they fight again when they fought then because he, he he was not cannot be killed because he had got this boon from brahma so narayana uh, in fighting he may made him unconscious so he lost he fainted there became unconscious then lord narayana left him and he went to badri narayana and in badri ka ashram he took rest there and after some time again mura demon he come to conscious then he saw where is narayan he wants to fight with him then he went to narapadri badri na badri ka ashram and there he saw he was sleeping and he that when he was sleeping in yoga maya then he wants to kill him then immediate one very beautiful demigod 
appeared there from the yoga maya then by one one sound one sound vocal sound murak asudimam he did after narayana appeared and he saw the murak demon was dead and there is one girl beautiful girl she is there demi girl goddess then narayana asked her who are you how who killed this demon then she told i am your your internal potency i appeared from you because when you were sleeping he came to kill you i by my a vocal by sound i killed him so lord narayana became very happy he told what you want i am very pleased i can give you vindication then she told oh my lord i saw in this world many these conditioned souls they by the force of time kala they are suffering here but death it is old age many kinds of this misery is here they all are suffering so my prayer is if you give in this day if someone worship to you they if he can get your service in your vaikuntha planet in spiritual planet so lord narayana gave him her this boon so from that day it after narada came to know and first narada came here in our mortal planet then he he introduced and taught to rukwanga the king that time he was the ruler of this planet then rukwanga the was performing this ekadashi vrat and he was very strict from age 8 to 80 80 everyone in his kingdom they must fast without it even in his palace his animals horses elephants others they also fast he did not give them food he was so strict so by his such pious and devotional strict principles all his kingdom and all his citizens after death they go to vaikuntha planet no one go to yamaraj's planet then by the vishnu bhakti the their four fathers also who are in helis planet there also they get free that you the the great uh, fame to the rukanga the king and the demigods mostly in yamaraj's department became completely empty no one is there so this was their their problem what should we do nobody is coming to our planet so they are thinking like this way one day narada was traveling and he went to see sometimes he was moving where the narkaloko the helis planets there and there he saw no one is there before they were they were they are crying they are roaring there and their painful life there but no one is there no sound coming then what is his problem he went to see yamaraj and he saw yamaraj and his all department they are all just sitting and no job then he told what happened then yamaraj he told oh narada you came you saw the king rukwangada 
he was performing this ekadashi very strictly by the glories glorious of ekadashi everyone they directly they go to spiritual planet they don't come to our yamalok this punishment place so what to do please you do something so we can continue our job nard was very interested it is actually nardas mercy so and now he wanted to see actually what is going on then he told oh, what to do he told we have to go to brahma and we say him that he can create some something so we can have some job work and yamaraj was agreed and he told okay we can go so all his staff they went to satyalok and he saw brahma was sitting in his meeting hall many rishis are there then he yam they saw yamaraj with all department with narada how they came they have no time already so always they are busy to punish this sinful persons who are coming from this mortal planet so how they came here then after they saw that they asked brahma asked and yamaraj told oh, by the the devotion of vishnu bhakti by practicing rukmanga the king now no one is coming our department all are going direct this way on the planet so we have no job now we cannot sit only without any work and take salary enjoying all facilities so please you do something for us otherwise you can engage other other work uh, we cannot stay without any work responsibility then brahma told oh, what can i do for vishnu bhaktas i can't do anything for others who are karmis i can do something for them then others again they requested you are the creator you are the grandfather you are the uh, the adi you are the origin you can do then by their request brahma he created one from his mind one mohini like one demi goddess she is very beautiful her name was mohini and by her shining and fragrance by her, her moving her eyes and all moving all who are present they became uh, over helmed they lost their conscious then brahma told them to not lost the conscious then the mohini she asked to brahma o oh, father what shall i do why you created me brahma told you know this is rukmanga the king he is now in the planet in earth planet he is king and by his ekadashi this first bow they are all his citizen citizens strictly following and they all are going to vaikuntha planet so you go and break this ekadashi brata from the king rupangada then they can come to the yamalok and our system our the govern governing the society we can perform this this planet then he was he agreed she agreed and she came to the earth planet and she started come to rupangadas palace that time the king 
Rukpangad, actually he was in going to visit forests and he was meeting with the sages there, ashramas, and he she came to one ashram in a mountain where is a Shiva temple and she was sitting there and she was singing with the Veena, with the very sweet melody that every beats in the tree, they are also enjoying this, the atmosphere changing. So after hearing Rupanga the king, he went there and he saw there this alone sitting, this a divine one, the goddess there. He said, who are you? Why are you alone sitting here? Then she told, oh, I, Brahma created me and I am moving everywhere and I, I like, I came here and I just singing to pray Lord Shiva. Then Rukangad also attracted to her and she he told Rupanga the king told to her, if you like, you can come to my palace and you can stay with me. Then she told, okay, I can come, but you are already married and you have one son. He has one son. His name was Dharmangada. And Rupanga the Raja's wife was Sandhyabadi. So they are all devotees, pure devotees. So Mohini told her them, please, you, you, if you want to marry to me, then I can go to you, your palace, but I become first queen. I cannot stay under your first wife, the queen. Then the king accepted her, proposal, then they all they came. Actually, I shortly I explaining the history how Ekadasi first created and first how it happened. Therefore, I, I am shortly I am discussing it is written elaborately in Naradya Vishnu Puran. So then Mohini agreed and in that temple, Shiva temple, they married there by giving garland and that time the king offered he, her three boons. If you want, what you want, you ask, I can give you. Then she told, okay, this is your, uh, your greatness, but when I need, I will ask you. Then they stay few days and after they want to come to the palace, then the king sent message to her, to his son and his queen that they have now married one. His mother is coming. So the son was very, very, very sober and he became happy that his new mother is coming. They are not envious, not enemy. His mother also, means first wife, queen, and they are, they are also all happy. They received with the grand reception to them. They offer a new beautiful house and they stay both there. And same, they continue. Ekadasi and Chaturmarsya Brata, all this. So Dharmangada was that time he was king, he was prince, and Rukangada, when he left to forest, he, he offered to kingdom to Dharmangada, his son. His son was actually 20 years old, but very powerful, very he was chivalrous. He, he, he defeated to Varun also, the demigod, and he is very power of from birth he was a devotee of Lord Vishnu by the father and mothers. So he was very powerful. But he offered to them, they are servicing to them, 
and when ekadashi came that time see dharmangada by by the elephant big bell they send everywhere they told oh tomorrow is ekadashi everyone must fast everyone not should not cook and everyone should follow so they told the, that time king rukangada and mohini both were together there then rukangada told oh tomorrow is ekadashi we should maintain a fasting then mohini told oh no 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 this is not the uh, religion the principle of king khatriyas the khatriyas no need to fast who are sanyasis and widows and brahmacharis they can do fast we should not fast we are a king we need energy to fight in this way he argue with him but the king did not agree with her he her then after that he became she became angry then she told look okay, you offered me this boon three boons one boon already he gave one life to one a one insect was killed so by his boon see he got life another boon he asked when he come he become chief queen and his queen must stay under him so that was the second third was he asked no you gave me this boon do now you eat rice anna but rukwanga was not agree then they have a very big quarrel in the night time then the mohini became angry then he told you are a liar you are a cheater you have a duplicate you told me you offer me boon now you are not agree so king rukwanga told oh, you are a witch you are a such person you came to break my bhakti my religion i cannot eat in a kadashi day so it was a big fighting with them after that moin became angry and he left her night time crying and he, she was going away in the way in the night the dharmangada his son he came and he saw somebody is crying in the night time then he came and he saw his new mother she is crying he asked her mother what happened why are you crying here then he she told she told oh your father is a liar he is cheater he to offer me boon now he cannot follow he did not agree to offer me so what is the problem you can come i can ask to father then they both came and asked to father what happened then the tolo he was saying to eat ekadashi rice anna then dharmangada understood and he told to his mother to convince her why she is is against to perform fasting in ekadashi this is our religion so she told okay they convinced it to her but as mohini was not agree when it was told oh i want this because i wanted to eat in this rice this day that day three they were not agree then he told you want other any boon we can give even we can give our life our kingdom anything but we will not break our religion our devotion so then ekadashi the the mohini he told okay if i i can tell that they they can cut the head of the his son and give to the to me by his hand maybe they become they change so now mohin told okay if you are not agreed in rice in this ekadashi day then i am saying one thing it is very hard but if you are agree then i can i can agree this and what do you want he told you can cut by your hand by sword to your son's head and give me 
after hearing this such beautiful unmarried prince become this king rupangad became very angry and she wanted to kill her but rupa dharmangad his son stopped it he, he told father this body one day will die if somebody kill or not kill but it will die so if my body can save our truth save our religion save our devotion why we can we will not use this body to protect our devotion to so mother as she convinced to mother and father they agreed and they after the king brought one sword and that time she want to kill to cut his head when mohini also it is very intolerable her heart because she was the dharmangad was so nice uh, beautiful boy that she he was also servicing to her so but to just to break the the ekadashi she took such heavy decision it was also intolerable for her she became in conscious and painted there her she fell down and lord narayana appeared there and he told now you are time you come with me you will go to vaikuntha planet so this three rukangada his wife indavali and sam dharmangada all they sit in chariot and lord narayan took them from there this was happen in the suddenly happened nobody knows this and mohini she was fainted there and she unconscious unconsciously slept there after the priest the spiritual master of rupangad basu his name was basu he came to know that this mohini she came to break the religion and a kind of fasting so he became very angry and he told i am cursing you you become ashes so so he by his cursed immediate mohin was burning and become like ashes that was happen big this incident immediately demigods yamaraj and others they saw this and they told to brahma who oh, mohini could not break their ekadashi but now she is also cursed and she is burning now her body is so please come and to solve what to do and brahma came and with all other demigods together came they went to basu the spiritual master of rukwanga the king then they told oh, by a soul basu this is what happened the story brahma told this is my will and i told before to not do any obstacles to vishnu bhakti but they could not hear to me then they told to create something i created this but i you saw this it happened now they went to vaikuntha planet now she is burning please give her, her some your mercy she can alive then basu fast she became he became angry to them demigods why you are so uh, so uh, jealous who are doing vishnu bhakti to go from here in this planet to free from this material world you are envious to them you are always create problems to them we are angry i am very angry to you but by brahma's request he convinced and then he told to give life to again mohini and they told you have to stay 6 months near ganga and every day take bath then you will free from this burning your body and she did this then after that the brahma and all demigods they they created another position for mohini that who will perform ekadashi 
when ekadashi started with 10th day that we we say vidha vidha ekadashi means which is connected with 10th day dashami tithi 10th day that will go to mohini and mohini will give them material desires to fulfill their material desires she cannot give liberation she cannot give vishnu bhakti but she can give them material desires and who are performing this this ekadashi fasting with the 12th day means to next day when it comes to jain if one second also touch to that day then that will go to ekadashi devi and they can get vishnu bhakti and they can get all benefit there so in this that from that time ekadashi divided one who are performing from 10th day it became vidha ekadashi and who are is coming from 12th day it became a real ekadashi dwadashi yukta ekadashi so in this way the two became two and from that time who have material desires they perform the ekadashi with 10th day and who are real vaishnavas devotees who wants devotion they are performed you know, which is with come with 12th day dwadashi yukta that is dashami yukta so vidha ekadashi so this became two and many people generally in this world they are always uh, have material desires so to fulfill their material desires mostly they started this ekadashi and the demoniac people they also performed ekadashi with the 10th day ekadashi so in this way divided and many people they go to yamaloka again and go from again they move with their karma so in this way this time changing the stars the the muhurta means the seconds the moment of the moving of the stars this planetary system with the with the lunar system in our ved there are lunar system and solar system both in the west they don't know about lunar system they know about solar system so this astrology like in the vedic too we are mostly following lunar system because it's more detail and very it is come so we follow the it is there so from the there this became to by this mathematical calculation sometimes we see in our gaudiya math also sometimes they follow 10th day sometimes dwadashi day regarding their calculation maybe something changing so it becomes like sometimes we follow in mayapur in vrindavan in puri mayapur also i saw maybe one day one institution uh, next day another institution uh, another institution maybe sometimes one day two day three days also come so i saw so because of their they following their calendar who which calendar they follow by this system of calendar calculation they have such kind of uh, this uh, according the degrees of the lunar stars they do this now we have decided once uh, in mayapur to sit together and make one calendar so everyone should follow one calendar because this many times devotees they confused in outside oh, what we to follow they are following same sampradaya but they are following today maybe tomorrow they are following what we to do many confusion coming in everywhere but we discussed there but still now we have not no such opportunity to sit together all the institution head of the institutions and who are um, who are uh, writing uh, this uh, calendars they can sit together and follow this this is now in international problem because in international which country which time what they have to follow there is also more now confusion comes uh, but until now unfortunately it is not happen uh, this but i told little history behind the ekadashi it is comes from an ardhya vishnu puran this is actually 
take three hours to speak elaborately, but shortly I gave this how this Mohini and Ekadasi Devi both both are observing this giving fulfilling their desires. So I think this will help to devotees to know nowadays in English everything is available in Ekadasi Mahatma. Everything is everybody knows still today about Ekadasi. I discussed with this and I don't take more time. Many speakers are also others there. I pray to all Vaishnavas and they can give their opinion and how to harmonize everything. I offer my Dandavat pranams to all Vaishnavas, mostly our president Gopananda Goswami Maharaj and other Maharajas there. So thank you to all to give this opportunity and maintaining this WB meeting. Such a wonderful explanation we are hearing. Uh, never heard those beautiful pastimes before. Uh, very nice uh, to get uh, this inspiration that uh, helping us to develop our spiritual life by continue following this Ekadashi Brat. And yes, of course, will be uh, wonderful if someday uh, we could make a special meeting with different Acharyas to try to get a one calendar is possible from all. And it will be wonderful that that calendar is coming from the uh, Vishva Vaishnava Rakshava. So okay. thank you very much. If yes. anyone has a question, specific question right now, it will be a good time to ask to Srila Maharaj. Okay. Uh, yes, Srila Bhakti Lok Pramaditi Maharaj also has a question. I have a question to our Vishnu Maharaj. Actually, this beautiful story which you just told us is so revolutionary. It is so moving, especially the, the 12th day observation for Vaishnavas and all that. This is kind of, yes, very new, but you also said that in Kali Yuga, people are not so capable of, um, of doing all this kind of austerities, but still it is so encouraging to follow the Ekadasi more carefully. So I really request you to kind of get the calendar maker behind it. Because the calendar, there's also one thing. Some people say we should follow the Ekadasi according to the Mayapur calendar, where the first Vaishnava calendars are made. And mm -hmm. then in ISKCON, they made this calendar calculating it by which part of the world persons are, by the time zones to have different so that sometimes we have <laughs> in one side of South America, we have a codice one day on the other side of South America or Europe, we have a codice on another day. So this re re requires some acharyas to take, uh, to take responsibility and, and to give us the, the unified calendar. Also Srila Narayan March told that to me when we started Vishwa Vaishnavarat Shava, and it is essential that all Godias will follow one calendar. So like Madhavas was saying, we really look forward that our senior Vaishnavas can, can do that job and create this guidance for all. This is my, yes. my request to you and to Gopananda Bonmarsh also. Yes, we feel this. We feel this is necessary in the world by stomachs. If we all together, they can decide one calendar to follow. This is great service to all by stomachs. Yes. We will see, we will try. Who okay. are the calendar makers today? Who are the ones in the Gaudiya Math who are making the calendar? Many institutions, they have different uh, 
maharajas they are actually everyone they don't do do all these calendars but uh, they follow according the social vedic calendar which institution they follow to which calendar which uh, rishi has written they according the 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 astrology signs they have to come together to see to, to follow one calendar then it will become okay because it is comes from different uh, mm. ancient time there are many parts up in india in south india north india they also follow different different acharyas like parasara sanghita varaha miriya sanghita and all the who has written many they have written astrology so they follow to their rishis uh, their uh, this uh, uh, astrology so it is like that so i most members have not created any any they are special they also follow the calendar regarding the calculation of the what is written from vedic system it is coming so now become south part of india and north part of india east part of india they have different different uh, this calculations and now we are also following the same bhastam sars following to them like bengal one odisha one vrindavan one if we go to south india maybe they followed one little some little differences coming because it is very finest subtle moving of this stars and planets so it is little complicated but they have to come our gaudiya brahma madh gaudiya sampradha if we come all other is one okay we follow one calendar then it become everything solve problem but they must come out from their own uh, institutional their decision and to come to a common platform to together sit to it is also big job if you to come together and sit together and decide still until now it is not happen in the future maybe everything is possible by the mercy of hari guru bhaistambas we will see I have another question, Maharaj. It's particularly in Vrindavan, Gaudiya Math always has a different day than the local Goswamis and the local Prajpasis. Why is that? They 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 follow some Hindu calendar, or what is the reason? Yes, that is true. They follow Hindu calendar. Among Hindus also, I told you there are many astrologers. They have written. this philosophers written so they follow from from ancient time previous time they follow from one to some place and another is this uh, smart ekadashi means vidha ekadashi which is for meaning like which is starts to the 10th day maybe whole day is ekadashi so they have so the whole day is ekadashi why we not follow to ekadashi today they follow their but they don't know about the puranic the this this uh, rukanga the maharaj the kings the story that the more benefit comes by if they follow to to 12th day if 12th day it is there one second there then we have to follow to 12th day this is our our siddhanta so there is some some differences there in hindu calendar also there so we yeah. regarding our western yeah. calendar we follow 12th yeah. day so difference is yeah. there it is not now it is coming from previous time ancient time but nobody knows because now yeah. everywhere this okay. internet yeah. their media there so yeah. everyone they know people yeah. nobody knows they, yeah. there was no any yeah. communication yeah. system yeah. so local yeah. what they follow they follow yeah. there so no yeah. complication there no argument there yeah. no contradiction yeah. there now yeah. what happen whole world become one globalized uh, this online system everyone knows everything that is difficult yeah. time now in kali yuga so it is uh, coming by the this uh, problems but if at least if our brahma madh gaudiya sampradaya if we follow one decision if come together that is that is benefit to everyone so that is necessary to come to one 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 decision 
by everyone in all the institutions. It is necessary. Okay. Thank you, Maharaj. Haribo. Hare Krishna, Gurudeva Dandavat Panam, Jasta Rich in Dhaka, and Srila Bukul, Pada Prabhu with me. Haribo. Hare Krishna, Dandavat Maharaj, Hare yes, we can hear you. Yes, yes. Yes, I hear you. Haribo. Dandavat. Uh, uh, this is, I introduce, this is Srila Muku, uh, Mukunda. Das. Mukunda Das Prabhu, Mukul Padamitra Prabhu. He is our uh, senior advisor of uh, WBA VVRS. And Srila Mukul Padamitra Prabhu is the main servitor of uh, Srila Loknath Goswami birthplace, Srila Narottam Das Thakur birthplace. Srila Haridas Thakur, Bhajan Kutir, and many of places, he is the main server. And we are, I am so happy again come back to Bangladesh by the, by the, by the invitation of Srila Mukul Padamitra Prabhu. Guru Deva? Good. Mukul Prabhu? Yes. Okay. Haribo. Jai. If sometime he will come to Mayapur, I will be happy to meet with him. I have desire to go. I have to desire to go to see also many Mahaprabhu's Lila place there. So if sometime Mahaprabhu's mercy come and your mercy come, I can go to visit. Maharaj, you take me with you? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, we are. I, I am also inviting everybody to come to Bangladesh and to please. Go for this is Yes. Okay. 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 This is great. Go for another one more. This year. Ek. Dhanu Pranam. Dhanu Pranam, Guru Maharaj. Mukul Prabhu. Mukul Prabhu. Your disciple. Uh, in, uh, Liton, Liton Shah. Uh, Liton Shah. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Abhi Liton Shah. Yeah. Liton Shah. It's close to me. No, Bangla Bangul Mitra. Mukul Mitra, who are talking about this? Mukul Mitra, I am going to get Siren Marat. I am going to get the clip with other. Uh, uh, today's subject, 